Einstein and Relativity Einstein he was from 1879 to 1955 he noticed that Newton's laws of motion are only correct in the limit of low velocities much less than the speed of light and he made the theory of special relativity also revised under uh, and he also revised the understanding of gravity and produced the theory of general relativity so there are two postulates leading to special relativity that observers can never detect their uniform motion except relative to other objects and this is equivalent to the laws of physics are the same for all observers no matter what their motion as long as they are not accelerated so for example this man is um, is for example in the space okay and he is moving and he has nothing uh, around him I if he has an, an absolute nothing he will not he will not notice that he is moving um, and when another spaceship comes towards him he will think that the spaceship is the one who is coming towards him so the the man in this spaceship will say it's obvious you are moving I'm not and the other one here in this spaceship no I'm not moving you are so this is how we think movement movement is always relative to other things so the velocity of light C that is constant and will be the same for all observers independent of their motion relative to the light source which means when light when the source of light is um, uh, it, 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 when there is a source of light and you measure the speed of light and then there is a ship and this ship is emitting light and it's, it's it's having that source of light the 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 speed of light should add to the speed of the ship but the speed of light is always constant it never ever uh, changes it's constant um, which made Einstein think that the speed of light is the universal constant that nothing can exceed it according to his uh, to his equation that we we will see in the special relativity but in modern uh, uh, nowadays we found that it can, there are bodies that can move faster than than speed of light uh, so his laws are not perfect but they are true they they work in some scale in some region the same like Newton's laws can work in in some region but but, but it can't work in another it's the same for Einstein's work so we have to uh, postul the two postulates of special relativity have some amazing consequences consider though, ex though experiments when when there is um, uh, w w w when seen by when the light source seen by an, ob by an ob observer moving along with the light source so he will see the speed of light as 
the speed of light it, it will be the, the, the same constant speed and when it's seen by the stationary observer it will be also the same the same uh, speed of light it's always the same speed of light so this is the VLT this is the uh, this the speed of light moving this the the speed of light the mo light moving from the source uh, to another point so according to solving this triangle now recall that the velocity of light c is the same for all observers the times delta t and delta t um, dash must be different which means this that the time will change to the uh, observer it, it won't be the same like the time in uh, the the source of light moving so the times delta t and delta t dash must be different then the Pythag Pythagorean theorem uh, gives C delta T squared, all squared, equals C delta T dash, all squared, plus V delta T, all squared. And using this, we can find, with Lorentz factor, that something very strange happened. That light, that, that, to, to have the same speed of light, time has to change it has to expand its time dilation so length l length length contracts length scales on rapidly moving objects appear shortened and this is for this appears for the person in the vehicle moving for okay let's explain it in a in an easier way when there is an observer on earth and he observes a vehicle moving uh, near the speed of light the time on this vehicle will expand but the person inside that vehicle will not feel that expansion so for example when two uh, this is called the twin paradox when two brothers one on the earth and one enters a spaceship and travels near the speed of light and uh, so when that person comes back to the earth he will find his brother his twin brother on that earth became so much older so what happened is the time is delayed he he traveled in time and it's totally scientific it's real and it happened to it happens every day to astronauts um, and for the person in that vehicle length will contract for him okay and the energy the supposed energy for kinetic energy for bodies moving but according to Einstein there is an energy also for um, the rest the, for the body in rest called the E note or E zero which is equals to MC squared E, the energy of that body equals the mass of that body by the speed of light squared which means that the, a, any body has lots of energy inside of it if you can open that thing that is holding this energy it will explode in a very massive explosion which happens in 
fission reactions, atomic fission reactions.